a cute and scary cookie. That is what we are creating today. Hi everyone, my name is Billy Eilish. Let's get started. Now if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and the notification bell so that you can see all of my videos as soon as they go up. And also I'm highlighting the ASPCA. There are links in the description box so you can donate, you can volunteer, or you can just look for a companion. Seeing your dogs are preferred, there are also turtles. Now let's start this cake. So we're creating two versions of the same idea. A cookie with a face. And so the footage for the most part at the beginning is very similar. I'm using two 10 inch round cakes. Because cookies don't really have a consistent shape, I just basically made sure that they were round. That's all a cookie is, round. The height and depth of a cookie is always different depending on what ingredients you use. Or like, is your butter melted? Did you put this much baking soda? Or even less? Or did you put baking powder? All of that changes the cookie. I iced this cookie, I gave it a crumb coat, and then I realized I, it was too perfect. So I just added some inconsistencies in my cake just by <laughs> using my spatula. There's no technique, I basically just like hammered my spatula in. After I finished my crumb coat, I decided that I wanted this cookie to be kind of eaten. I wanted a bite to be taken out of it. So I'm using a cookie cutter, a round cookie cutter, just to cut out a corner of my cookie. Oh, there is no corner because it's a circle. Well, a portion of my cookie. Then I covered it with some cookie brown fondant. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. We got like a butterscotch syrup color. I'm liking it. I love butterscotch. I think it's perfect. There's just a little bit of yellow to highlight like the goldenness in my cookie. Mmm, it's yummy. So I placed it onto my cookie. I kind of emphasized all of the little bumps I created with my offset spatula. Then I just peeled away the excess. I'm using two big tips to kind of create um, indentation so I know where both of the eyes will be. That way when I start adding all of my fake fondant chocolate chips. I know exactly where the eyes are so I don't put a chocolate chip too close to the eye. That'll be a disaster. Now my fondant dark chocolate chips. Oh, I don't have that color. Okay, well I'm going for like a semi, semi sweet kind of dark chocolate chip. So I'm adding brown fondant just randomly and also I'm making sure that they have like the inconsistencies of like a melted chocolate. I'm adding them all over this cookie because I want this to be a very chocolatey chip cookie. You know how like when you make cookie recipes and it says like half a cup of chocolate chips? It's like a full cup of chocolate chips in this cookie. So I've added my two black eyes because this is a very simple face that I'm creating. And then a very kawaii smile. Yeah, I wanted to emphasize his mouth a little bit so I'm using some black royal icing just to give him like a, a little bit of an upper lip. Then two catch lights to finish off my kawaii cookie. His chocolate chip, he's yummy, he's looking cute and he's got a little bit of crumbs because there was a bite taken out of him. Do you like it? I love it. Oh my god. Oh, and then I even added some cheek detail at the end. I don't remember doing that, but that's good. That is cute. <laughs> I'm like reacting to my old footage and I'm saying that this cookie is looking cute. Now it's time to start the scary cookie. Now, the kawaii cookie I shot a long time ago when I shot the croissants and the taco and all of the other kawaii cakes that I made. I think I did that like last year. The scary cookie is more recent, probably like a month ago. I don't remember completely when, but about a month ago. So the footage looks different. Even like the light, because I got a lot of natural light on this footage. Okay, so we're starting off this cookie the same way. We got a 10 inch round cake. I added some buttercream into the middle and I'm just going to smush it and smush it. 
So I rounded out the edges a little bit. Doesn't really matter because this cookie is gonna be very inconsistent, even more than the kawaii cookie. I'm adding a lot more indentations to the middle of my cookie so that this has a lot more depth and it looks a lot more grumpy. But just like the kawaii cookie, I am cutting out a little bit on one side so it looks like there was a bite taken out of it. Ooh, and now, oh look at that, we got some more of that butterscotch, that butterscotch syrup going on. Is it the same fondant? No, it's not. It's different fondant. <laughs> uh, imagine if it was the same, like a year old fondant. Oh gosh. Now I'm gonna outline what I want my cookie to look like and I didn't really draw this out. I kind of just made it up as I went along and it turns out that this cookie, similar to my pumpkin. <laughs> Jack and Sam, my two-faced pumpkin. If that was one of my first cute and scary cakes. I'm very proud of that. Now I'm adding a ton of wrinkles to this cookie. I want this cookie to look like the, you know, the batch of cookies that you accidentally leave in the oven for like 10 minutes too long. I wanted it to look like that, where like it's so dry that it's just cracking everywhere, you know? And that's why this guy is so angry. Now this cookie is a terrible cookie. It's dry, he looks angry, he looks like he's gonna kill you. But the thing that is the most terrible out of everything in this cookie is the fact that it's not a chocolate chip cookie. It's raisins. Oh my God, I can't even, oh God, raisins, oh. You know what? My aunt always brings home cookies and I, Sometimes it's like it looks like a chocolate chip cookie and it's an oatmeal raisin cookie and it's in my mouth and I literally just have to spit it out because it's disgusting. So not even a craisin, a raisin. So I'm adding some dark purple fondant and just creating like some really raisiny looking pieces. Oh God, it's disgusting. I'm pretty sure that's a sin to add raisins to a cookie. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was like one of the 10 commandments Thou shalt not add raisins to anything. It just tastes terrible. Who did that? Who, whose idea was that? You should be put in jail. Now this cookie was butterscotch, but I wanted it to look burnt. So I'm painting my entire cookie with a little bit of magic sauce and some brown food coloring. Brown and black. He was left in the oven just a little bit too long. After that, I decided to paint the inside of his mouth. I, I, wa I wanted like a, almost like a chocolate syrup brown. And I know this doesn't really make any sense, but I'm adding blood to the eyes. <laughs> I just thought it looked scary. Ooh, and what's going on here? Oh, we got two red eyes. I think those are red gumballs. Uh, I did that just to save myself some time so I don't have to paint them red. And voila, my scary cookie is complete. <laughs> Doesn't it remind you who jigsaw those two red eyes? And look at those giant raisins. The next time I go to a bakery and they've got raisins in a cookie, I'm just gonna call 911. That's against the law. That should be against the law. You put raisins in your cookie? Why do you want to make the world a terrible place? Now my cookies are done. Which one do you like best? Do you like the kawaii one? He's so cute, isn't he? And then you got this horrible raisin cookie. So I would name the kawaii cookie Ralph. I like that name. I, I think I've named something else that, <laughs> but I just really like the name Ralph. And I would name the raisin oatmeal cookie Scott, because I know a Scott and every time I talk to him, I feel like I just ate an oatmeal raisin cookie. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't talk anymore, so that's fine. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what kind of character you'd like to see two versions of. What kind of animal? What kind of doll? What kind of food would you like to see in a cute or scary format? I love you guys. I'll see you very soon. Peace!